This is going to be just a little off-the-cuff kind of shit, because I'm still pissed off about The uh, the Last Jedi. So, just in case, I'm going to say spoiler alert, because I'm going to go into everything, because this movie fucking sucked, and it needs to be stated more than once, because it's just... As a long-time Star Wars fan who was barely old enough to be able to go to the movies to see Return of the Jedi... Um, and growing up with the entire original trilogy and didn't have much of anything until 97 when the special editions came out, outside of maybe the Ewok Adventure, which don't, compared to Last Jedi, Ewok Adventure is a fucking masterpiece of Citizen Kane levels, so, um, I've been stewing over since I got to go to the premiere night here in Japan, which was probably one of the fastest places in the world to get it. Um, I think only like Sydney or some other places on the east side of Australia were a little bit ahead of Japan, but I was excited. I was in a good mood. I was hoping for a good movie. And when I saw like all these like Japanese fans over here dressed up as all the characters, including some chick who decided to dress up as Mon Mothma, there that's some dedication for you, and not just any Mon Mothma, Moth Mothma from uh, Return of the Jedi clothing, so you know, hardcore, right? Um, this movie really just was a shit show. And it was so disappointing because I was always very against Disney when they bought out Lucasfilm because I knew they were going to do something to fuck it up in some way or another. And um, I wasn't really aware that... Uh, it would be this bad. <clears throat> now, I wanted to give Disney a chance because past history shows G- Disney is full of shit and they only care about money. Um, there was an old newspaper article I had to read when I was in high school that talked about you know Disney removing the disabled children's discount because you know fuck disabled kids and. <clears throat> You know, and this was for Disneyland in L.A. And from that point on, I have been vehemently against Disney in every possible way. Because I thought that was just a fucked up thing for them to do. Luckily, because of backlash from people, they they put it back. But I digress. I'm just giving a little backstory on, on, you know, my hatred for Disney. Um, Fast forward to getting back on topic essentially um i was super excited to see episode eight it's the first time i had gone to see a star wars premiere night midnight showing since revenge of the sith i didn't do it for the force awakens i didn't do it for rogue one i didn't think it was necessary i didn't really care that much but i thought okay we're gonna get some answers in this movie we're we're gonna have something interesting let's give ryan johnson a chance let's you know see if disney can can follow up and make it better than the force awakens i wasn't that big of a fan of the force awakens um i mean i don't really hate it but it's a meh movie to me um rogue one was a little bit better which is why i was kind of you know seeing that okay they're getting their ground they're getting their footing they're finally understanding what the fans kind of want out of a Star Wars movie. So let's see what happens. And they fucked everything up about The Last Jedi. And it's heartbreaking because I was never a prequel hater. I Yeah, some spots were a little stupid. I thought the line in Revenge of the Sith where Anakin says, you're either with me or you're my enemy being taken directly out of fucking George Bush's mouth during his State of the Union speech on the Axis of Evil shit. I thought that was the stupidest shit in the world, but at least there was 
reason behind what was going on with that scene. Um, it's just that this movie, from the way that Disney was saying things, the way that, that I mean, some people were hyping it a bit much, and I kind of softened my stance against Episode 8 a little bit after the second trailer came out to where I was kind of, you know, <clears throat> cautiously optimistic, as I said in the podcast with uh, the Unholy Trinity podcast that I do um, with a couple friends, <clears throat> which all, you know, we're, we're going to record a special Last Jedi episode. But um, besides that, I just wanted to, you know, talk about it now. <clears throat> and this is not going to get edited or anything because, you know, I'm just want to get this shit off my chest. So Mark Hamill just disappearing because, oh, I ran out of force energy, so I'm going to disappear and become one with the force. What in the fuck is that? That's such a disrespect to the character. The entire time Luke Skywalker's in that movie, he's just like being a grumpy old man and bitching and complaining, and he hasn't grown a single bit since... Uh, Return of the Jedi kind of situation. And you even with Yoda's dialogue in there, it insinuates that Luke has not grown one bit in 30 years. That's fucking bullshit. The way they killed him off, he didn't get a real fight scene. He didn't get anything in this entire fucking movie. Except Rey being Mary Sue and, you know, knocking down the Jedi Master without really a fight. Um, fucking bullshit. And Mary Sue confirmed. So, you know, there's still no explanation on, on Ray and why she's so powerful. Oh, she's just there. I don't care about the fact that her parents were, you know, a bunch of losers. It, that's, I would have preferred she'd be Luke's daughter, but you know what? That's not the biggest issue here. The biggest issue is there's zero explanation on why she's so powerful. Except that She's Rey, and she's somehow strong in the Force. And she can beat a fully trained Kylo Ren, who is trained by Luke Skywalker, and <clears throat> can, you know, like, just do all kinds of crazy shit. No, fuck that. Then, let's get on to Leia, because nobody's really talked about this. And that is that... Laura Dern's character was completely promoted by Disney as a, the first lesbian in Star Wars. The first lesbian character, whatever the fuck. And what was that scene with her and Leia locked eyes holding hands right before Leia gets on her little transport with Poe? That was Disney trying to turn Leia bisexual. And it doesn't seem like anybody's talked about this. Is that they are completely shitting all over this entire new trilogy and all the original cast because of social social justice. I bet you they haven't killed Chewbacca because he's brown. <clears throat> I mean, seriously, it's that freaking bad. And then when you see, like, it's not aliens who are fighting in the Resistance. It's a bunch of minority humans against a bunch of white guys in the First Order. There's a lot of undertones there that are very, very social justice-y coming from Disney because they're in fucking Hollywood and fucking stupid place allowing pedophiles to get away with shit. Anyway, a little off track, but... Um, they wasted Phasma. They wasted Snoke. Snoke was becoming a badass, and then just as you think he's going to, you know, do something really cool, fucking they kill him off. Phasma was being touted as having more time in this movie, and she was going to be cooler than before, and she died in five minutes. So fuck Disney. They don't know. They don't have any sense of creativity whatsoever. They have no sense of what it means to make a Star Wars movie, and... I've read plenty of reviews from even the Japanese audience that have been very critical of this movie because it was fucking stupid. And I even saw 
one of my favorite review quotes I found so far in between English or Japanese, it doesn't matter, was one post I found on ega.com, which is a Japanese site. If you don't know Japanese, then you might as well just ignore it. Um, but <clears throat> the person basically said that to me, this is legends. And that's how I've started to consider Disney Wars. Is this is the Legends universe, and the real EU is what was decided on and agreed to and approved by George Lucas. And I will not support Disney again when it comes to Star Wars. I have completely shut down on this thing because. You know, as I said earlier, they fucked Leia, they fucked Luke. They had two characters that they've been touting forever in Snoke and Phasma, and they fucking used them as miniature plot devices. And speaking of which, they've cleaned up all of the characters except Hux and Kylo on the First Order. They basically, what Ryan Johnson did and what the story group at Disney and Lucasfilm did was they. Killed off every possible storyline. There's nothing left. So no Phasma, which means Finn has really no, you know, antagonist for him. They got rid of Snoke. So there's no, like, super strong force baddie in there now. Um, Unlike the Emperor, who would... Which, speaking of that, Andy Serkis, or whatever his name is, the actor who... Did Snoke, the motion capture for Snoke. Um, he came out and said Snoke is stronger than Palpatine. I didn't say any proof of that. Palpatine was throwing giant, you know, Senate hover seats in Revenge of the Sith. He was flying around uh, doing crazy shit in Revenge of the Sith. We didn't see any of that out of Snoke. We saw him like throw shit around. We saw him lift up Rey and pull her towards him. And like she, when she tried to grab the lightsaber, he just flung it back and smacked her in the back of the head, which she deserved. Um, but there was nothing there that said this is <clears throat> a powerful dark side baddie outside of a couple things that happened. Yeah, sure, he threw Hux around on the bridge, which I thought was really cool and funny, and it made Snoke seem really imposing. But Darth Vader choked out a guy doing something similar in Empire Strikes Back, so who cares? That's nothing special. Vader probably could have done that. Um, we saw how much he was focused on his lightsaber battle with Luke in Empire, and he was, like, throwing shit at Luke the entire time. So, you know... I mean, th there's no proof of Snoke being some kind of super badass that's more powerful than Palpatine. Um, <clears throat> and besides, even if Snoke somehow, like, melds himself back together, well, what happened in, in the Clone Wars TV series? Maul got, you know, metal legs. So it's not like he's doing anything special that, like, even Darth Maul couldn't do. So, um, the movie was complete shit. I I was completely disappointed in just about everything in the entire movie outside of like Kylo Ren and maybe like a couple scenes here and there. The that whole shit with Rose and Finn was nothing but, you know, SJW, let's get two minorities to have some kind of forced love story that made no fucking sense whatsoever. Finn dying at the battering ram cannon would have been a much better way to use that character considering he had like no fucking story to begin with in this movie to, anyway <clears throat> so you know this is just my little rant of how much I fucking hate this movie and I don't care if there's people who like it you can go fuck yourselves you can go enjoy yourself but you need to realize that what Disney has done has destroyed an entire gen more than one generation, probably like two or three generations worth of Star Wars fans because they wanted to do certain things 
that shat on the entire legacy of what George Lucas created. Whether or not you like the prequels, most people don't. I don't have any problem with them. I like the prequels. I like the original trilogy. Yes, the prequels aren't as good as the original trilogy. But you know what? Don't compare anything to to the original trilogy. The original trilogy is a classic set of movies that can never be matched. And that's another thing people need to figure that figure out that these those movies were legendary. They are legendary. Nothing is going to match up to them. It's like you could never make another Citizen Kane. You could never make another Gone with the Wind. Those kinds of movies are classics for a reason. It's not about repeating past glory. It's about using past glory as a way to improve to go move forward with the stories you want to tell or let's say the music you want to create or whatever. Kind of like Judas Priest. A lot of people don't like Nostradamus. I find it to be a great album. But you can see that there was a progression in the musical style of the band over 40 fucking years. And I mean, you listen to, to Redeemer of Souls and you have that same idea. It's Priest, but there's some extra there, extra layers to it. And that's what I think the prequels are. They are not trying to copy the original trilogy. They're not trying to, you know, uh, be, you know, copies of that because George Lucas didn't want to do that. He wanted to make something new. And I think he accomplished his goal, whether or not the majority of the fandom agrees with me or not, because I like the prequels. I think they were good. So you guys can fuck yourselves. But what Disney has done is stolen the heart of Star Wars. And without George Lucas there, whether or not you liked the prequels, the prequels had heart. They felt like Star Wars. These trilogy sequel shits, along with Rogue One, don't feel like Star Wars. So, you know, fuck the rest of this stupid trilogy and you know i'm not going on opening night ever again i'm probably never going to see a disney wars movie again i if i go to see episode nine it's gonna only be after i hear the spoilers of the movie um because i'm not gonna waste my money if i think that they fuck something up beyond further beyond what ryan johnson's already managed to fucking do but somehow Disney has managed to snatch defeat from the jaws of victory in Last Jedi. So can never know about that, right? Anyway, I'm out. I'm out of here. I just needed to rant about this fucking shit because this fucking sucks. I fucking hate Disney. I fucking hate what they've done to Star Wars. And, you know, they're, they're going to lose a large number of fans because of how much they fucked up The Last Jedi. <laughs>